Hello you guys, this is going to be a tarot daily guidance reading for Wednesday, December 14th, 2016. Alright, and um, instead of doing the um, Archangel guidance with the Angel Gods and Goddesses deck, I will be using the Celebrations of Love Oracle um, for this reading for today. Okay, so let's go ahead and tune into the energies of Wednesday, December 14th, 2016. What is the energy collectively? Okay, five of staves, which is five of wands. Ace of Staves. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, and finally the possible outcome for Wednesday, December 14th, 2016. The Six of Pentacles. Okay. Alright, so we have a lot of wands and a lot of pentacles. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the overall energy we have is the five of staves or wands. I'm just going to refer to them as wands. So it's a little bit of a challenging energy for some of you. It's more so that you're combative within yourself, but it might in turn uh, manifest itself through conflicts with others because it's like you're going through things within yourself. It's like a battle inside of you. It could be related to this full moon because... I feel like there's a lot of purging happening um, as a collective things that are coming up to the surface for us to look at, to change our view. Um, our communication might be very combative um, for some of us. This can be internal conflicts. The energy um, itself is very conflicting for some of us, I feel. Yeah, it's kind of dealing with your dark shadow self, having to confront that aspect of you. And it's like your highest self is in battle with the ego. So it's in order to release certain things, you know, you have to confront them. They have to come up. All right. The challenge is the ace of wands also. So we have a lot of wands here. Um, the challenge here is actually going to be taking up this energy, going ahead and facing these conflicts, this conflicting energy, whatever's coming up. It's like being able to face them, confront them, to take them on on their challenge, not backing down, not doubting yourself, judging yourself, blaming others, um, judging others looking for a fight, picking a fight. It's like trying to internalize everything, try to figure it all out, what's happening with me. If this is coming up, it's possible that I need to heal this. It's just a lot going on for a lot of you. So take this energy on, on this challenge and see it for what it is. Look at it from a higher perspective that this is here for me to release certain aspects of myself, not to not to judge or not to make assumptions, bad assumptions. I'm getting that 
if you are having some difficult conversations, there's a little bit of arguments happening because that can possibly happen with this um, moon's energy. It is in Gemini, which is the um, house of communication. Okay. There might be some conflicting conversations, but I feel like they need to be had. It's like the way that you look at it afterwards is important. I feel like they might just spark. They have to come up in order for certain things to be revealed or to be released. Okay. The advice is the eight of pentacles. So the advice um, will be to take this up on its offer, this energy, but also utilize the full moon's energy to work on self. Like look at this, all of this stuff that's coming up as an opportunity to finally let go of the things that don't serve you. That's not working in your highest good anymore or never did. And now it's like you have the chance to heal yourself from all of that, grow from this, transform yourself out of this. This is about growth. And it's also about having patience with this energy. There's going to be an abundance of things that transpire, whether it's within or if it reflects without through others or just through life situations that you might deal with. Um, I feel like this is already wacky every time there's some type of influence with mercury or um, areas of communication, my phone, I always break my phone. So my phone is broke right now, which is kind of difficult. And it might be for a reason, you know, it is frustrating because it's hard for me to take care of my business. And, um, like, I feel like my communication shut off in a sense. So it's like, there's a reason for that. And I feel like it's time for self-reflecting. So little things might happen in that way. Anything in the area of communication might be very, very challenging right now. Okay, so your focus, where your focus should be, you can't see this card, so I'm going to show you. This is the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is, um, as your focus, you need to focus on self, self-nurturing, self-growth, your well-being, your stability, looking at things from a higher perspective, practical, um, looking at things, look at them for what they are on the surface, but at the same time, look at is how can I use this to help me? Like, how does it serve me? What is it making me look at? How does it make me uh, how does it make me feel? What does it make me think? It's like using all five senses to figure this out, like what's happening. Because there's something in this that's helping you to heal and release. Okay. So I do um, encourage if there is some some tough topics or certain things that you need to express to do it now. It might come out a little harsh. It might come out very passionate for some of you. A lot of tears, a lot of anger. A lot of yelling I'm getting, but there's certain things that need to come up for your betterment and also for others to understand where you are will help you. The possible outcome, if guidance has been followed, you have the Six of Pentacles. So the possible outcome is that things will be balanced out, I feel. I feel like this is an energy of whatever's happening on the surface, surface will balance itself if that makes sense things will like all of it's gonna come to some type of harmony like the energy it's gonna make sense it's gonna be clear as to what I need to do what I need to focus on where do I stand it just makes things much clearer for some of you or at least most of you things will start to settle I'm getting a settle energy harmony a flow a balance okay if you can focus on self because the majority of your cards are pinnacles so i'm getting that this is like nurturing healing um it's like growth patience so this is about self and how you handle this energy and utilizing it for your your higher good your highest good 
All right, so I'm going to pull a card from the Celebrations of Love Oracle deck as our guidance for today. For Wednesday, December 14, 2016, I ask for highest guidance, highest truth, highest clarity from the Divine Spirit, from all guardians and angelic beings who are of light and who are of service and justice of others. And that card flew out. We have oneness, breath of light. It's a very beautiful card. All right, so the guidance I'm getting, I apologize. Um, the guidance that I'm getting from this card for you to take with you is to realize that everyone is a mirror to you. Everything that we put out will be reflected back to us. It's kind of that energy of cause and effect, reap and sow, um, others being your catalyst or being your mirrors to look like you're seeing yourself through other people's eyes. So if you're having a hard time dealing with certain people, look at what they're showing you, what they're telling you, how they're making you feel, because it's something that they're reflecting back to you that's within you, that there's possible needing to heal. So it's like we're all working together on a higher level. We're helping each other out, no matter how you perceive it, whether it be good or bad. We're all helping each other. So it's like, look at it from this perspective that things are happening as they're meant to take whatever the conflict is, take the energy up on its offer. I'm getting that or face the adversity and fight it, but not try to fight against it, but fight it to where you're looking at it in the eye. You're looking at your opponent in the eye and you're looking at their weapons. You're looking at their strategies and you're using it for you. How do, how can I overcome this? How can I fight this? So look at the battle for what it is and use it for your highest good in an aspect of what do I need to heal? What do I need to release? What do I need to let go of? Okay. All right. So everyone's working together, working for each other. All right. So these things shall pass. This energy will pass. It's something that needs to happen, that needs to release itself. And that is your reading, you guys. I send you guys lots of love, lots of light. Um, if you have purchased a reading with me recently, I asked for patience. And I have that issue with my phone. I broke my phone yesterday, actually. So I have to get that repaired. And I will hopefully have it fixed by Friday. So I'll start readings then. Um, also I wanted to do something like a weekly type of reading, um, or once a week reading, thought it might be fun to do love readings, um, a celebrity love psychic reading. So if you would like to see those videos, I would do that every Friday, um, or every Saturday, depending on my schedule. Um, you can just comment below what celebrity couples you want to look into their energy and I'll do a love reading that way um, just for fun um, for entertainment purposes only um, so just let me know what you think about that and as always you guys I'm going to send you lots of love and lots of light and take care bye-bye